also do not retire in the Philippines if you have these things. Um, a lot of people will always tell you to retire in the Philippines. A lot of YouTubers just hype the Philippines and say it's the best thing to slice bread. But there are gonna be some things as someone that's lived here well over a year uh, that's middle-aged that are going to make you not want to retire in the Philippines and they are as follows. If you have significant health problems, you do not want to retire in the Philippines. Um, number two, if you're a sweater and you don't like humidity, you do not want to retire in the Philippines. Yes, you can come check it out. The health problems thing is non-negotiable, but the humidity is backbreaking at times. The humidity is worse at the beaches than it is in Manila, but it's something to really consider. That, you should still do a discovery trip and see if you can handle it. I've gotten used to it over time, but I'm not a super sweaty guy, but humidity here is an actual factor. Just think of Miami humidity on steroids. Um, that's something that definitely deserves a discovery trip and a visit here. If you have significant health problems, forget it completely. Um, number three, if you are used to super fast American style customer service, you're not gonna want to retire in the Philippines, period. Um, number four, if you do not have patience, the Philippines will teach you patience. So that is something that if you're an older guy and a cranky guy, you are not going to want to retire in the Philippines at all. There's just no way that it's gonna work for you if you're Mr. Cranky, Mr. You know, fast, 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 immediate gratification, instant gratification. Um, you don't want to wait in line once in a while for 30 minutes or whatever, whatever. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of self checkouts here. Uh, sometimes things are not handled American style. So if you're not ready to be a guest in a country where I've found myself waiting in line for an hour before, um, patience, it will teach you patience. Customer service is not five star. Um, the humidity is tough. Um, milk. If you uh, like regular milk, you're gonna need to get it at SNR or certain grocery stores. A lot of grocery stores will just have the sort of sterilized milk that can sit out that's a bit funky. I know that's funny to say that, but some people, you know, drink milk or like certain type of milk in their coffee or whatever, whatever, whatever. That's obviously a minor detail. Um, if you aren't into, uh, you know, women here can be very family oriented and their family can have uh, say so in their decisions, even as adults. If you don't like that, you may not like it here. Um, that's just the bottom line. If you don't like clingy women that are going to be all over you and jealous, you do not really want to retire in the Philippines. Filipinas are extremely clingy and jealous. Even if they look like they're out of your league, they will, when they choose you and they fall for you for whatever reason, they will be holding on for dear life and very much trying to be with you 24 seven. They don't like you flirting with the waitress or making a lot of eye contact with girls. They're not into you, uh, you know, uh, being in a polygamy type thing or you can cheat and they can't or they don't look for threesomes. They don't wanna be, you know, involved in groups or you having two girlfriends or something, that's out completely. Um, so, you know, just trying to give you what I've learned in the last 15 months about things that would make you not want to retire here. Everybody hypes it up like it's the greatest. It is the greatest for me. I'm staying here. I love it. But these are some things that are going to be tough for you if you come here. Health problems, you're out. Humidity, have a visit. Um, you know, it's just the way it is. Uh, Another thing that I want to talk about is the price of things. Everyone thinks the Philippines is cheaper and it generally is. Services are cheaper, housing is cheaper, but you know what isn't cheaper? Electronics. Cell phones are more expensive. TVs are more expensive. Imported products, like if you go to SNR and you get some Kirkland almonds, since they're like a sister Costco type vibe, they're going to be like double the price. Um, you know, there are some things in the Philippines outside of the things that I said, you know, the services, the Grab, which is our Uber, the rent, the, uh, you know, uh, getting your condo cleaned. 
there are some things that are more expensive. Electronics across the board are more expensive. If you're a big and tall guy, and you decide to retire in the Philippines, you're gonna to need to order big and tall stuff on Amazon. Filipinos are generally like, the average height of a Filipino is probably 5'5". Five five. Filipinos are not big 6'6 six six guys that need big and tall stores and stuff. So you're gonna have a hard time finding shoes. You're gonna have a hard time finding jackets. Um, another thing to be mindful of when you move here is do not bring your hoodies and all your winter coats and you know 17 pairs of jeans and stuff. You will not need them. Um, I have brought my jeans and hoodies. I've probably never used them once or maybe used them one time. So I just want to give you some ideas of some things um, that would make you not want to. Um, wow, we're catching a fireworks show during the video. How about that? Look at that. Um, I can't zoom in because I'm in cinematic, but well, would you look at that? So yeah, those are going to be some things that are going to deter you from you know, moving and staying in the Philippines long term, you know, uh, you can make friends with expats and stuff, but you may get a bit lonely, as I said in my previous video, you know, it's not going to be all, you know, uh, American, just friends everywhere and this and that, you can slowly make friends with some expats and you can, you know, find some social groups on Facebook and stuff like that. But in general, you're going to want to, uh, be prepared to spend some time alone if you don't meet that girl at the airport or you don't immediately get into a relationship in the first 30 days. Uh, be comfortable being a loner. If you just want to live for cheap, you know, you can live a really simple, humble life if you find a cheap place and you don't mind cooking at home for around a thousand a month. People were giving me crap about saying that it's 2,500 to live in BGC. I think if you don't want to live a very you know, low level lifestyle, you're definitely well over two grand. But uh, if you wanna be in a comfortable place and you wanna retire here and you're a bit of a picky, fussy, spoiled American, come to Bonifacio Global City where I'm sitting right now. Definitely need at least two grand a month, but come here. You got the best hospital in the Philippines, St. Luke's right down the street. You got, uh, you know, Western restaurants, about 500 of them from Olive Garden to Denny's to uh, TGI Fridays to Texas Roadhouse to the list goes on and on and on. This is a great transition point for a Western spoiled person. This may even where, be where you just want to make your permanent home. It's hard to leave here. I left here, went to Barakai, then I left here, came to Makati. I ended up right back here because I like the convenience and I think my channel likes it. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, uh, the Philippines is the Philippines. It's a developing country. It's not going to be super fast, 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 you know, Amazon at your door an hour later. Yes, sir. Customer service. I was at a hotel that caught on fire in Barakai and we were displaced from the hotel room for four hours. In America, they would have gave you a free room. They would have gave you a dinner. They would have been apologetic. They would have been this and that. This was a major hotel chain that I won't name. Very, very, very expensive room. We literally, you know, inhaled a bit of smoke and yada, yada, yada. We're out of the room for four hours, not knowing if our stuff went up in smoke, it, you know, and I asked them the next day, what are you offering by way of compensation for this? Apparently, I thought I was in America. You know what they told me? They said, we're sorry. So a sorry to me is worth $0.0, .0 and it's not worth me and my girl having a, you know, really bad experience and being displaced uh, from our hotel room for four hours plus, but they said we're offering absolutely nothing. So keep that in mind, you know what I mean? This is not America. If you buy something and you wanna return it, good luck, probably not gonna happen. Most sales are final. Yes, it could happen if you have a receipt or yada, yada, yada. It's not impossible, but it's not America where they'll just return it with no receipt or just get you in and out of there in 10 seconds or whatever. Uh, that's just the way of the Philippines. So just wanted to give you guys a few reasons why you might not want to retire here, why you might want to do a discovery trip before you sell your car and your house. And I just like to keep it real on this channel and salute to everybody for an amazing 2023. Uh, I appreciate all the love. Like, comment, subscribe. I do consultations. You can hit my email about that. It's under my about section. Beautiful Uptown, Bonifacio Global City. Um, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Santa All, EGC, Chase Building, Uptown. Got Club Zylo.
until now and then. Caught a nice little fireworks show there for you guys.